Benny Big Gun here. Today I'm doing another Lag Yol knife review. And um, I've never actually reviewed this knife. I used it in a contest once, a Boris Kibitz 1 1 contest when he had it. And uh, I thought I'd just uh, show it all to you a little bit. Comes in a, a sheath, yeah, like this. And it's a um, sheep slaver sheath, it's not pig slaver. It's a nice construction, hand stitched by the looks of it. It's a bit of magnifying glass. It's a very nice. So let's open it up. Inside we have the knife. Button here is very, very strong. So like your knife. It's one of the more classic version of the like your knives. It's made from uh, the grips are made from bull's horns with uh, brass construction here, as you can see on the ends. So, and on top we have like a fly. My last Lagion like knife, which I reviewed, has a fly on top as well. I've got it right here. Let me try and kind of hold them both together for you. It's difficult doing this one handed. Open it up for you. Huh? Got a nice sharp edge on it. And um it's going to do some measurings today, like I did last time. This knife overall length is let's see, let's just get this in the camera for you all. This is a little bit difficult on camera. Twenty one centimeters. Twenty one centimeters. Thickness. Centimeter or two. Not very close to two centimeters. A bit thinner on top. Blade length, just to work cuts, is to let's see, eight centimeters by the looks of it. Then we got the finger protection right here. And I've got some uh, jimping up here. Let me show you that. And um, so you've got finger protection here. You can actually do some uh, precise cutting. Be careful never to put your finger here. It's extremely sharp. Let's do some comparisons in the size between the other lag you all reviewed and this one. Land them up for you all. You can see there's a bit of size difference. It doesn't look too lined up on camera, but it's lined up. You see the the uh, small this lag you here is just a bit long, just a little bit longer. Not a whole lot, but just a little bit. Just that bit much longer. The blade is also not as wide. But it's sharp, all right. It's sharp. Not ripped. It's sharp, all right. I would don't want to cut myself for this. But you're all left when you've accidentally cut myself on camera. <laughs> I'm ripped, but it's as sharp as the other lag your knife. It's a straight cut right here and there. It's sharp, all right. You know, it's, it's this knife, these, these old French knives, they got nothing to prove. They're just uh, such good quality. You know, the quality is unbelievable on these knives. No blade movement, hardly any blade movement from left to right, up and down. No blade movement at all. 
Maybe just a little blade movement. I hardly feel any blade movement. Hardly feel any. And of course, you all know what's coming, don't you? Yep. A carrot. Gotta pass the take the carrot test with me, you all. Gotta if you've got to prepare food for the or knife, it would be an easy task. Let's see how thin these slices are. Ooh, I nearly cut myself out. <laughs> gotta be careful with these knives, it's uh, super sharp. You know, it's just uh, a closed lamp. Yes. A little bit near to three centimetres. Yep. Not far from three centimetres. Let me make a little comparison here. Of course, this knife, as you can see, is just uh, the one on the right, the wooden one. It's much, much thicker. Much, much thicker than the, the other like, your knife to the right. These are both excellent knives. And you know, here's the corkscrew, like an older classic line going on. I don't know if I've already mentioned it, but you know, I'm sure I have mentioned it before. The French just knocked the wine back, you know. There's drink and drink and drink until no t it's like there's no tomorrow. I bought this, no box, no nothing. Just a, comes brand new with a sheath like this. It's just a... Uh, a great little knife. And this is currently my EDC knife, my uh, everyday carry knife. It's currently this one. I'm thinking about changing the, my everyday carry knife soon. But this knife's just the best. Alright, you all, that's my little review. My lagioles. With this lagiole here. And hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, favourite, subscribe. You know all the good stuff. And uh, don't forget to comment. I really like to see what you all think about my uh, small video reviews. Let me know what you think uh, about these knives. And um, have a nice day.